there. Welcome to another episode of Storytime with a Roy. <laughs> now today, I want to talk about fire alarms. So I was sleeping, and I was just going, and then I heard, and I was like, it was like three in the morning. And at first I thought, oh, someone's breaking in. So I grabbed a baseball bat and I ran around in my room, back and forth. I was in my boxers by me, so it was kind of drafty. And I was running back and forth, trying to figure out what was going on. And I was at the front door. And I opened my door and I charged it. But you know what? No one was there. And that is when I realized it was a fire alarm. And I was like, fire, fire, someone get some water, someone get some sand, someone get a roll, stop, drop, and roll, stop, drop, and roll. And then I was like, wait a second, you don't stop, drop, and roll unless you're on fire and I'm not on fire yet. And if I don't want to get on fire, I should probably start running. And so then I put some pants on and I ran outside. Now you see, I live in an apartment and they do these things called fire alarm tests. They want to make sure that all the fire alarms work. Now, I don't know why they needed to do it at 3 in the morning. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. And I think it's kind of rude. But anyways, they did it. And so I'm standing outside in my short sleeves, in my short pants. And I'm just standing there freezing. Like, hee hee. I wonder how long I'm going to be up here. Hee hee. And then I thought about... A nice warm jacket upstairs. But I wasn't allowed to go back in because at that point I didn't know if there was really a fire. I was like, ah, it was a long night. Thankfully, after a while, they stopped doing the test and I got to go back and go to bed. But I did learn a lot. If there's a fire alarm, you need to act quickly. You need to get outside. Because if there's a fire, you don't want to be in there. Now, there are a couple things to note when it comes to fire safety. If there's a fire and you see smoke or something coming under the door, the way that you can check and see if the room on the other side is on fire is you can touch the door handle. Now, don't grab it, but just touch it very lightly. If it's really hot, it means the fire is on the other side. So, you don't want to open it in that case. Unless it's the only thing you can do. Always remember there are even windows and stuff like that. <laughs> I like windows. <laughs> They're cool because you can see outside. Look around. And then you see a squirrel. And you're like, that's a squirrel. And the squirrel's like, hey, that's all right. That's wrong. And that's that. And like, ah, ah. <sighs> Those silly squirrels. I'll get them. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode of Storytime with a Roy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. 